What's going on you guys? Happy New Year! It's your trainer Caitlin here and today I have got an insane full body workout for you. We're going to be working on some cardio, balance, stability, strength, core, and last but not least we've got some hit to do. All of that wrapped up in this pretty little bow of a workout. All you need today is your BOSU balance trainers. I have got mine out right here. I've got the next gen and some dumbbells. We're gonna be using heavy and light dumbbells. So grab what you got. I've got 15 all the way down to five. You guys ready for this? Let's get warmed up. All right, my friends, we're gonna start with just a few shoulder rolls back and down. So think about shrugging those shoulders up and then sliding the shoulder blades into your back pockets. Beautiful. Let's do two more. Good, now let's reverse it, so roll forward. Nice, and all I'm gonna do is bring myself into this little kind of boxer shuffle. Jogging in place, getting my heart rate up, getting everything warm. Go ahead and roll those wrists out a bit. We're gonna get warm on a stable surface and then we will get warm on an unstable surface. Good, let's switch it now as we push the arms forward. I want you to squat down without those knees falling in. And then big row, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, down and squeeze, down, squeeze. Again, push, pull, push, pull. Last two. Last one, good. Now we can go ahead and bring the balance trainer to the floor in front of us. I'm gonna bring the, my back knee down right onto the logo and I'm simply going to tuck my pelvis so I've got a nice hip flexor stretch going. I'm gonna reach up and back. Three more just like that, reach up and back. Last two, reach, got that hip flexor. Stretching out, beautiful. Now go ahead and switch sides. Tuck and we reach. Three more. Last two. And one more. Cool, so now we got those hip flexors stretched out. All I'm gonna do is step up onto the balance trainer. Up, up, step down, down. Again, up, up. Down, down, let's get that nervous system used to this unstable surface. <sighs> Building our awareness throughout the entire body. I'm leading with the same foot every time. So I'm going right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Now I'm gonna switch it. Left, right, left, right. Woo, non-dominant. There we go. So acclimate <sighs> to this different step pattern. Good, and let's come up, up, and we'll stay up. I'm gonna do that squat, push and squeeze. Now on the balance trainer. So our feet are on either side of the logo. Push, squeeze, push, squeeze, push, squeeze. Knees are still not collapsing in. Cool, let's do one more. Push, squeeze, stay here. Roll those shoulders back and down a few times. Chest nice and proud. We are ready to work out. All right, my friends, we work for 40 seconds. This is our cardio portion. And then we have 15 seconds to recover and switch to the next exercise. A, B, A, B, and then we'll do one more circuit after that of cardio. We're starting with simple taps. I'm just gonna get that heart rate up, the breathing rate up in two. Here we go, tap it out. I want you to keep a nice long spine, right? So you're not hunching over on this. And then those arms move contralaterally to those legs, right? So opposite arm and leg are going up each time. You got 20 seconds on the clock. Breathing. We got this, you got another 10. Ooh, calves are awake. Anybody else? Dig that toe into the dome. Three. Nice. I'm gonna bring myself into a plank. 
We're gonna go down, down, up, up, inch back, inch back down, repeat. In three. So here we are in plank, down, down, up, up, walk it up, walk it back down. Lead with a different arm this time. Down, down, up, up, walk it back. 20 seconds, some more recovery based. Try not to let those hips wiggle. Keep the abs pulled in tight. Down, down, up, up. We're gonna go back to the tap after this. Wherever you are, finish the rep. And we'll go back to the taps in 10 seconds. Breathing here, guys. We go in three. Here we go, tap it out. Dig that toe into the ball. We're using this to get us even more warmed up. You're halfway right here. Stick to that pace. You can continue doing for another 10. Remember those arms and legs moving opposite, opposite, two. We've got that inchworm commando in 10. Breathing here, recover here in two. Here we go from plank, drop down, down, up, up, inch yourself up, all the way up, and then bring it back down. Whoop, I'm sliding. Remember those abs are pulled in nice and tight. When you're down in that plank, you've got pubic bone pulling to your nose. So you're in this constant little baby crunch. Nice, seven seconds. You got time to get back again. Finish your rep. Nice job, you guys. We are moving into a new circuit of cardio exercises. All right, we are starting with an up and over hop. So we're gonna have one foot on the logo. I'm trying to center myself here. And I'm simply going to just hop to the other side quickly working on more speed and agility than anything else here. So we're not coming all the way down into a squat. We'll save that for our strength portion. We're just gonna hop up and over. One foot replaces the other in two. Here we go, up and over. This is one of my favorite exercises to do on the balance trainer. I find it fun. 30 seconds, can you speed it up? Nice. Quick movement, abs are pulled in tight. I'm leaning forward slightly as I would if I were sprinting, right? 15 seconds. Arms are still moving opposite the leg that's on the balance trainer. Just like they would if we were running, too. Good, go ahead and take a seat bringing your booty to the bottom of the third ring here. And in five seconds, I'm gonna lean back, lean back, extend the legs, and then dive forward into bear. So lean back, extend, dive, pop, back, extend, dive, pop. We got it. Lean back, extend, dive, pop at your own pace, working at your own speed today. Anyone else's quads on fire? Whew. Last five. Nice, we come back up and we hop up and over. Then we do that one one more time and that's it for cardio. 
Then we'll do some balance. Two. Here we go. Up and over. Heart rate's up. Breathing rate's up. Sweat is pouring. 30 seconds. Remember, this isn't hit, right? This is more cardio. So don't go 100%. Not yet. 15. 10. Hello. Almost fell. Last five. Two. Nice. You go back to that extension. Dive into that bear. In three, two, here we go. We're back. Extend, dive, pop. Back, extend, dive, pop. Your own time, your own speed. I just want you to exhale as you extend those legs. Exhale as you land in that bear. It's gonna protect your spine, your low back, your pelvic floor. Five seconds, guys, and we're done with cardio. <sighs> Nicely done. Let's move into our balance round. So you're going to want to grab a light dumbbell if you want it optional for an extra challenge. I'm gonna have this just set aside for the uh, second exercise. We're gonna come up onto the balance trainer. I'm gonna plant my right foot right on the logo. And there we are going to balance, we're not starting yet, you got 10 seconds. We're gonna balance and the left foot is going to tap out to the side and back and behind. We go in five seconds, my friends. Two, here we go. So balancing on that right foot, when you feel like you are solid there, go ahead and tap behind. Bring it back. Now I want you to find your focal point. So make sure woo, that knee isn't falling in. If you need to tap down, you can. Like right on the side if you're starting to lose your balance. But watch what's happening here. Is your foot starting to collapse? and then your ankle falls in, and then your knee falls in. Woo, rest, all we're gonna do is switch sides. So pay attention to what's happening. Make sure those abs are pulled in nice and tight. Like I said, find a focal point, other side, here we go. Same thing. Let's see if our balance is better on this side. Yes, it is. You're tapping to the side and back and behind. How's it going? Tapping down if you need to. So I have a tendency to have my foot roll in, then my ankle collapses in. Three seconds. Just finding that stability. Good, go ahead, switch legs again. Grab a dumbbell. This time, I'm gonna hold that balance and I'm gonna chop the dumbbell. So here we go, lifting that left leg up. I'm gonna take the dumbbell from the right shoulder down next to the left hip, right? So now I'm shifting the weight across my body and now all my stabilizer muscles have to adapt to that change in the weight. How's it going guys? Who's humbled by this one? Good switching feet. Franny's there to bark and distract you, if you guys can hear that. A nice balance distraction. Here we go, other side. We're gonna chop from one side up to the other. Chop it. Ooh, it got a little windy in here. Everyone's falling off their balance trainers. We got this, guys. You've got, ooh, I changed my direction of my gaze. We got 10 seconds. Oh, my foot strength is being challenged. And rest. All right, now that we've had a nice little humbling break, we are ready to move into our strength and stability portion. 
All right, my friends, we are supersetting a strength exercise with a more stability focused version of the exercise, or at least the same muscle group. We're gonna start with the chest press. We're gonna be using the uh, balance trainer as a bench. I'm gonna use my 15 pounds here. Go ahead and bring yourself to sit right in front of the balance trainer. We're gonna have the head, uh, upper back, and shoulders on the balance trainer. We're gonna thrust the hips up, and we got a regular old chest press from there. So go ahead and get ready for it. And in three, we'll drop those dumbbells down. Here we go, drop them down. Now they come down at a 45 degree angle, so you don't want those elbows shooting directly out towards the sides, right? You want 45 degree angle at that armpit. Inhale down, exhale up. Now as far as your core, you want spine in alignment, and you wanna tuck that pelvis so you're not arching through that back. So lift, squeeze the glutes as you pull that pubic bone in towards your nose. Inhale down, exhale to press 10 seconds, and we're gonna flip the balance trainer over and we're gonna do a stability push-up. Almost done. Nice. Go ahead and roll those dumbbells out of the way. Ooh, mine's going too far. Flip your balance trainer over. Now you can put your hands flat or you can grab the balance trainer by the sides, which is what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna go for push-ups. So nice wide stance to make it a little easier, a little more stable, down and up. Same rule applies that those elbows come out out of 45. And you still want that pubic bone tucked so you're in this baby crunch and you're inhaling down, exhaling to come up. If you need to drop to your knees, by all means, do it. You got 15 seconds left. Exhale to come up. I know it's tough, but we can do hard things. Last three. And let it relax. We're gonna move into a stable squat. So the balance trainer is just gonna hang there for a second. I'm gonna take my 215s and pop them onto my shoulders and we squat here. Knees track in line over the second and third toe. I'm resting my dumbbells on my shoulders to kind of give my arms a break. Now you don't have to go as deep as I do. I want you to work at your own uh, mobility level. As long as those knees don't fall in and that back stays nice and flat. 15 seconds. Down, exhale to come up. Last five, three, and relax. Now we're gonna go for a single leg squat variation. I'm gonna bring my back knee down onto the balance trainer. We're gonna alternate legs. I am gonna hold my weights, so I'm standing directly in front of the balance trainer. I'm gonna step back, drop my knee to the dome, come up and switch. Step back and switch. So we're working on single leg strength and stability. That balance trainer is acting as a cushion so we don't whack our knee on the ground. Make sure that knee isn't collapsing inward. That stabilizing leg. Exhale to come up. Inhale to drop down. How are we doing guys? Two. Nice, that is the first superset done. We're moving into the next one. Moving back into upper body. So we're gonna start stable with a bent over row. I'm using my 15s again. We're gonna hinge at the hips and row those dumbbells right up to the hip. So I don't want you rowing up into your armpit. Row to that hip. We're gonna engage the lats a little more that way. We hinge in two. Here we go. Hinge yourself over. Big exhale. Row the dumbbells up. Slowly down. Nice, smooth row up. 
back stays flat, heels on the ground, but I also want you to focus on pressing those toes into the ground, right? So strong arch of the foot. <sighs> Remember your breathing, exhale to row up, <sighs> inhale to lower down. <sighs> 15 seconds, then we'll go for our unstable exercise, 10. <sighs> Gonna get that core involved again. Good, you got time for one more rep. Slowly down. Good, placing your dumbbells on either side of the balance trainer. We're gonna bring ourselves into a plank. We're gonna go for a traveling renegade row in five seconds. Again, rowing that dumbbell to the hip. Go ahead, bring yourself down into plank. Nice wide stance. Grab the dumbbell with one hand, row. Set it back down, switch sides. Big exhale to row it up. Nice, stable core. You are just about halfway, 20 seconds. Anyone else shaking already? 15, try not to let that booty stick up in the air like I am trying, trying not to do. Seven seconds, my friends. Exhale it up. Three. Rest. Good, we're coming back up. We've got an RDL, a Romanian deadlift, using my 15s again. I'm gonna let them slide down the front of my body, paint the front of my legs, squeeze the glutes, hamstrings to come up. Here we go. Hinging at the hips, down, squeeze, glutes to come up. Nice. Back, nice and flat. Shoulder blades in my back pockets. Inhaling down, exhaling to come up. Dumbbells stay close to the body. Like I said, they paint the front of the legs. Inhale down, exhale up. We're gonna hit those hamstrings again with our unstable exercise in just a few seconds. Seven. Glutes and hammies feeling it. Two. Good. Go ahead and flip your balance trainer over. Bring yourself all the way down to the ground. Feet on either side of the valve. Scoot your bum nice and close to the rim. I'm gonna put the dumbbells on my hips for an extra challenge. Go ahead and press up. I'm going to rock my feet in and out. In and out. Pubic bone stays tucked. We're waking up the back of the legs. Hello, hamstrings. Feeling it now. Big tilt. In and out. Try to get as far out as you can with that ankle, that foot, and as far in as you can. 17 seconds. Oh my gosh, it's really starting to burn. At first I was like, this is fine. And now I'm like, oh my gosh. Last eight seconds, my friends, stay with me. Push, pull, push, two. <sighs> ah, all right, guys, come on back up. We've got one superset left to get through. Go ahead and flip your balance trainer back over so your dome side up. We're gonna do these next two exercises um, unstable. I'm gonna use two eight pounders yeah, just because my triceps are a little sore. I'm gonna bring one knee down. Now, I don't care which side you start with. We're gonna go for an overhead press, a close overhead press to a tricep, overhead tricep extension. So I'm half kneeling. I wanna make sure that this knee isn't wiggling around. Bring those dumbbells together, press up, and then overhead extend, bring it back. Press up, overhead extension, good. Belly button's pulled in. You're exhaling to push up. And then exhaling to extend. Inhale, you drop. Exhale, extend. Now we're working all the stabilizer muscles because we're half kneeling. We're on an unstable surface. Press. 10 seconds. I'm glad I used eights because this would have gotten me. Three. Nice. Go ahead and just switch sides. So I'm gonna bring that opposite 
foot back and behind, we're gonna do bicep curls here. Again, making sure that knee doesn't wiggle around. Let's do a hammer curl. So palms face toward the body, big exhale, curl up and down. I want you to focus on elbows glued at the side, no arch in that back, and no rounding through the back. So spine is long, and you've got that pelvis pulling just a bit towards that nose so you can really engage the core, the abs. <sighs> Exhale up, inhale down. Again, making sure that knee isn't wobbling or falling in <sighs> or out. Biceps are awake. Are they not? 10, <sighs> seven, <sighs> two, <sighs> nice. All right, I'm gonna keep the same weights. I'm gonna shift this guy out of my way and we're just gonna go reverse lunges. So I'm keeping the same dumbbells, eight pounds in each hand, stepping back, reverse lunge. Here we go, step back, drop that back knee down together and switch. So this is our stable exercise. <sighs> Inhale down, <sighs> exhale up. You can lean forward a bit to really engage the glutes, or you can stand tall, right? Torso nice and tall, and that's gonna give you more of a whole body experience and a lot more quad. So pick your poison today. I normally like to lean forward, so I'm gonna challenge myself by standing a little taller. Five, three, and keeping my same dumbbells, bringing that balance trainer out. We're gonna stand up on top. We're gonna go for a reverse lunge to a side step squat, alternating sides. So step the right leg back, reverse lunge, come up, balance if you can, and then bring the dumbbells on the shoulders, step into a squat. Back together to switch. Opposite leg, down, Balance, squat, we got it. <sighs> Down, balance, squat. Switching sides. Down, balance, squat. We are almost done <sighs> with the strength and stability portion. Let's get the other side. <sighs> Yes! All right, guys, let it relax. We are moving into core. All right, my friends, go ahead and bring yourself down onto the dome side of the balance trainer. Try to center myself here. You're gonna find, uh, you're putting your, your hips, your sits bones, right at the top of the third ring here. You're gonna have to make some adjustments as we get into this next position. We're going to explore a little balancing here. So go ahead and start to roll down here. So I'm gonna scoot myself a little bit further so that my lower back is now on the balance, uh, on the center, like where the logo is. I'm gonna grab my knees and we're holding here. When I feel good, I'm gonna bring a knee in and extend the opposite. If I feel confident, I'm gonna switch. So whether you are all the way here today, or if you're still holding right here, do what you gotta do. But be sure to really challenge yourself. Big exhale to switch those legs. We're gonna be here for another five. Good. Go ahead and scoot yourself so your booty is off the balance trainer. And you're just going to wrap that spine around the dome here, bringing the fingertips back and behind. Crunch up, extend back. Crunch, extend. So we're working the top part of those abs. Big exhale to crunch up. Inhale to wrap yourself around the dome. Do not go to a point where you feel any kind of pain so that's gonna be different for everyone's spinal mobility. So work at your own level. Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale, 
exhale, whose abs are on fire. <sighs> Good, bringing your hip to the logo here. So right hip to the logo, forearm down. And from here, I'm gonna lift my legs and lower my legs. Big exhale to lift and lower. Hello, obliques on that top side. So we're in this fake plank, working the opposite oblique that we would normally be working in a plank, right? We're working that top side. 15 seconds. Woohoo! First time I tried this, I was like, I felt like a fish out of water. So I call this move the fish flexor because I'm like a fish and I'm flexing my tail up too. <laughs> Go ahead and roll yourself. So pubic bone is now on the logo. Extend arms and legs back and behind. I mean, front and behind. Reach opposite arm and leg up. Switch <sighs> up. Hold for a second or two. <sighs> So we're working that back body. I want you to make sure you're not arching that back. So I'm still digging my pelvis into the dome. And I've got my abs pulled in nice and tight. My gaze is down at the mat in front of me. 15 seconds. We've got two more exercises here and then we've got to do some hit. So I hope you have a little something left in you to go real hard. Two, cool. I'm gonna just roll to the opposite side now, hip to logo. You're gonna see the back side of me here. And we're gonna do that fish out of water flex. So lift it up. Maybe we'll call this a mermaid tail lift. Do we like that better? Mermaid tail lifts. Feel that top oblique firing up. Big exhale to lift up. Don't let the belly sag. So keep it pulled in tight. Strong, stable shoulder, so don't collapse into it. Push yourself away from the ground. Shoulder stays out of your ear. I can't see the clock, but I'm hoping it's got some good news. It does, three. And coming back. Sitting ourselves at the top of the third ring again. I'm gonna lean back. So I'm going to round roll, give a twist, twist, sit up tall. Again, round roll, twist, twist, sit up tall. Round roll, twist, twist. I'm tapping my elbow on either side of me. Again, twist twist, 15 seconds, twist, twist. I want that exhale as I'm down and twisting. Last five, three, and nice job, you guys. Are you ready for some hit? Let's get it done, let's finish strong. All right, guys, this is the home stretch, our high intensity interval training portion of the workout. We are working for 30 seconds, resting for 15. That's complete rest. Don't be like jogging around. I want you to recover. 15 seconds is not a lot of time. All right, my friends, we start with a burpee variation. I'm gonna try to move quickly. I'm going to pop out to plank, hands on the dome, pop in, jump up, jump down, repeat. We go in five seconds. Are you ready? I want you guys to give everything you've got. This is our last 10 minutes or so of our workout. Out, in, jump. Everything you've got left. Woo! We got it. You got 15 seconds left. Core nice and strong. Seven. I must said five but it wasn't yet, unfortunately. Rest. Exercise number two is a mountain climber. Go ahead and flip, balance trainer over. Hold on to the sides. In three, we climb it out. Here we go. Run it. If you feel confident here, go ahead and tilt the balance trainer to one side. And then to the other. Again, 
Halfway. Tilt it. Don't smash those fingers. Tilt it. Seven. Two. And flip it back over. We've got a jump lunge. Bringing one foot to the side of the logo. And the back knee will tap the dome and we'll jump to switch. Nice, explosive jump. I'm moving my arms like I would if I were running. If you need to modify, just take out the jump, right? Almost made it harder. Five seconds. Nice. Back to the burpee. Nice, quick pop out in, jump. In three. Here we go. Out, in, jump. I'll take the burpees over the mountain climbers and jump lunges any day. Nice and quick, guys. Almost done. Two. Good. Flip her over. Get ready for the mountain climbers. Breathe. In two. Here we go, run it out. Remember, you can start tilting. Add a little stability challenge. 20 seconds. Halfway right here. Last 10. Have fun with it, guys. Three. Rest. Jump lunge. Whoo! We go in seven seconds. Bring one foot outside the logo. Back knee down. Jump it. Jump it. Make sure you're breathing. Belly button pulled in. Whoo! Whose legs? are giving out on them. My quads were a little sore going into this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk today. Three. Nice. We've got one circuit of hit left. Taking this time to recover, you've got extra rest here. Our next exercise is another burpee variation. I'm gonna have, uh, have you flip your balance trainer over so we'll come down for a nice unstable burpee. While we're down in that plank, I'm gonna tuck my knees to my chest. I'm gonna shoot my knees in and out. If you need to modify, you just keep your feet um, on the floor and pop it into bear rather than tucking in for that knee shooter plank, whatever you wanna call it. And then we come up, press the balance trainer overhead. You guys can tell I'm getting delirious at this point in the workout. I am exhausted, my body is like shaking. So, I'm gonna dig deep, everything I've got left, we go in eight seconds. Pop out to plank, shoot the knees in, back out, pop up, press, repeat. Here we go. Pop out, tuck, in, press. Again, out, tuck, in, press. Now to modify, your out, hop into bear, back out, up, and press. Whatever version you can work with today, do it. 10 seconds left. Last three. Nice. Flipping the balance trainer over. Put that left foot on the logo. We're gonna go for a knee drive repeater. In three, drive that knee. Here we go. Nice and quick. Trying to move 
as quickly as I can. Whoo, control, abs tight, keep breathing. I know that leg is on fire. The core, entire core is on fire. 10, you're almost done. Last five, two, nice. All right, we've, I've got a jump squat to stabilization. So we're gonna squat down here, jump up, land soft, step down. Here we go. Arms come back and behind, triple extension to jump up, stabilize, step down. Again. Nice. Really try to stick that landing. Get up as high as you can into that jump. Stabilize for two, three seconds, and then come back off. Nice. Rest. We go through that burpee again. Flip the balance trainer. How are we doing, guys? Is anyone as tired as me? Hello, Fran. Here we go. Pop, tuck, up, and press. Again. We got this. Everything you've got left. You've got just over a minute of hard work left. Three. Ah, flip it over. Right foot on the dome. Left knee drives for that repeater. Here we go. Nice, quick movement of the arms like you're running. You've got under a minute of hard work left. Halfway. Stay with me, guys. Keep breathing. Abs pulled in tight. Two. Good. Jump up. Stabilization. Get ready for it. We go in five. Last 30 seconds of work. Everything you've got. Here we go. Arms back and behind. Big jump. Land soft. Right back down again. Nice. Nice soft absorption into the balance trainer. This is teaching you to land soft on the floor as well, right? We're learning how to decelerate. Woo! And just like that, it's done. Breathe. Let's stretch it out. Bring in the balance trainer under that back knee, just like we did in the warm up. So I'm gonna bring my right knee back and behind. Then my left foot is up in front. So I'm gonna deepen this stretch here by grabbing that back foot. You can grab it with both hands. Give yourself a nice little chest stretch. It's not, as long as you're not arching through that back. So again, pulling those hips in. Think about, again, pulling that pubic bones, bone towards your nose here. And just breathe. A few deep breaths. Nice stretch through the quad. Franny, stop growling. There's nobody out there. Hey, you relax. Franny's being a nuisance. Uh-huh. See what I mean? Go ahead and now switch sides. I'm bringing the opposite knee back and behind. <sighs> Grabbing the foot, if I can find it. Tucking the pelvis. Hey, you. No, no barking. <sighs> Good, we're stretching here. Franny's in a mood right now. She must hear somebody out there. Breathe, guys. You did it. That was a tough one. I can't believe I fit all of that into one video here. 
Nice. All right, go ahead and release. I'm going to bring my pelvis right down to the logo here and then pressing up, elongating myself. If you need to deepen this stretch, you can do this off the balance trainer. A few deep breaths here. Nice. And then flipping the balance trainer. So now I'm gonna grab the sides. I've got the dome side up. I'm just gonna bring myself into like a child's pose here. So I'll sink back and I've got those arms extended out in front of me and I'm just gonna drive the bus. Let the balance trainer roll side to side. It should feel amazing. Give me a few more rolls, a few more deep breaths here. Good. And then go ahead and bring it on back down. I'm gonna bring one leg up, fold it under me on the dome here. And if you can, I want you to activate that back leg. So now we're lifted in this lifted pigeon, uh, pigeon pose here. Now, if you can, you can relax down into this a bit more, stretching that glute of the leg that's folded up underneath. A few deep breaths here. Good, don't round into this. I want you to keep those shoulders back and down, spine in alignment for now. One more deep breath and go ahead and release that back knee down. Switching sides here, opposite foot up and under, situate yourself and then become active through that back leg. And when you're ready, you can relax down into it a bit more and breathe deep here. Be proud of yourselves for having gotten through this tough workout, this little bit of everything workout. And now set your intentions for the new year, right? It's 2023. We're ready to prioritize our health, our fitness, or continue prioritizing that. And our little cute puppies with spider webs all over them because they've been getting into stuff, huh, Franny? All right, my friends, go ahead and relax that back knee down. Again, so proud of you. So happy that you chose to work out with me today. I love you and I will see you next time.